think it might be time to go back to our roots. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Modern Horizons 3 content. And I gotta say, I am in love with the set. You know, I have I was before the set came out, I took a little bit of time off of Modern, wasn't playing nearly as much as I have been in the past, but this set has breathed a uh, sort of an, a new life into the entire format. The whole every single deck has basically been upended. There's been a ton of new strategies and it's been a lot of fun exploring all of those different strategies with you guys. So if you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video. Let me know what you thought down below. And don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. Now, with all of that said, we are going to be playing some Insidious Roots today. This is uh, a card that came out in Murders of Karloff Manor. And card that people have tried to build around a little bit to some middling success. It's been a little bit more popular in Pioneer, but I think we have some new tools from MH3 to maybe potentially make this card sing. Notably, most notably, Chthonian... Okay, I keep saying this wrong. It's Chthonian Nightmare, and I apologize for saying it wrong in the past, and I'm going to try my best to, to train my brain to say it correctly, but... Chthonian Nightmare is uh, kind of the energy callback to Recurring Nightmare. So what's very powerful about this card in combination with Insidious Roots is you kind of get to do a ton of creatures leaving and exiting, or creatures going into the graveyard and creatures coming out of the graveyard, which is going to trigger Roots. Like, you can actually get to some spots where you sacrifice Bloodgast, Return a creature with Nightmare, that's going to trigger the roots. Play fetch land, get back the Bloodgast, trigger the roots. Maybe you even have a Sacrifice Southlet in play to sacrifice the Bloodgast, crack the fetch land, get the Bloodgast back, trigger the roots again. You can kind of see where this is going. So you have this really like nice engine package to just generate a ton of bodies and put a ton of pressure onto the battlefield. But you also kind of have a combo finish. How You might ask, how do we get there? So there is a three-card combo in this deck that involves Warren Soul Trader. Notably, this is a zombie, and you can pay a life sack creature to make a treasure token. A marionette Apprentice, which is a 1-2 that says whenever another creature or artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. And last but certainly not least, Gravecrawler, which is a card you can cast from your graveyard if you control a zombie. So, step one, get those three cards. You know, you need the Soul Trader and the, the Apprentice in play and the Gravecrawler somewhere in rotation. You cast the Gravecrawler from your graveyard, sacrifice the Gravecrawler to the Soul Trader by paying a life. You lose one life, but remember, they also lose one life because you have the Apprentice in play. You make a treasure. You use the treasure to cast the Gravecrawler again from your graveyard. Remember, Apprentice triggers off of artifacts and creatures. So, you basically get to repeat this loop for, you know, the amount of life that you have. But every time you're paying one life, they're losing two because you're sacrificing the treasure and the grave crawler. So as long as your life total is a certain amount higher than your opponents, then you can just kill them from basically just, just with those three cards. So you have this kind of combo approach that allows you to race the unfair decks when you need to do that. You can kill on turn three. Not going to say it happens very often because you'll notice there's only three soul traders and three apprentices, but at least that's an angle that you can attack people from. So the idea here is that you're this very value oriented strategy where you get to just outgrind all of the fair decks utilizing insidious roots. Grist Voracious Larva is another one. Basically, Grist is a card that you can transform when something comes into your into play from the graveyard, notably counting itself. So if you nightmare or unearth back the Grist, it will trigger itself and you can flip it, get a little value that way, make some more tokens, destroy artifacts or enchantments. Um, Orcish Bowmasters is kind of a cool card in this deck because it makes two bodies. Very, very important with stuff like Phyrexian Tower and Soul Trader. And then Stitcher Supplier, kind of to tie the room together a little bit. You just, you know, it's a zombie, which lets you cast Gravecrawler, mills three cards. Also notably, mills three when it enters or dies because, again, you have a lot of sack outlets with Warren Soul Trader and Phyrexian Tower and the Nightmare too. So you can kind of just get, you can churn a ton and, and really dig super deep for the combo if you need to or for you know, your more value-oriented cards like Gris and, and things like that. One card that I want to highlight here, you know, Phyrexian Tower, extremely powerful card. We don't need to, you know, th this card is very good. It jumps, your, it jumps your curve. It puts stuff in the graveyard. We don't need to talk about that one. 
One card that I do want to talk about that I've been extremely impressed with in these Black Sacrifice decks is Spymaster's Vault. Spymaster's Vault is really cool because even if you don't have the Marionette Apprentice, if you just have the Soul Trader and the Grave Crawler, you can essentially pay one life to connive because you sack the crawler, get a treasure, use the treasure, cast the crawler. You can repeat that a number of times depending on how much life you have. And then say you do it 10 times, you can then Spy Master's Vault for 10 because 10 creatures died. Well, 10 grave crawlers died that turn. So you can really get some, you can get super deep, especially with the Spy Master's Vault. So there's some, there's, there's just a lot of cool stuff going on with this deck. The sideboard, nothing too crazy. We have Flare of Malice, which I think is the best card against Nadu because it's one of the few ways that you can actually answer Nadu without giving them a card. Damping Sphere, good against Storm. Same with Thoughtseize. Pick Your Poison, good against the Saga decks. Same with Haywire Might. And then one copy of Legion Send, just as additional removal. Um, but yeah, I was a really big fan of this deck when I played it, and I think you guys are really going to like this one. So without further ado, I will see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Uh, sure. Old Bosch, the Prey Piercer. <laughs> Holy spam. Yeah, that's the problem with Grist is there's too much text on it. It's just just a little too much text. It is kind of a jammer. Alright. We have located the Ragavan answer. Ragavan successfully dealt with. Alright, Brave Harry's got a song request. I mean, that's different, right? That's the good version of Tom Sawyer. You can't compare the two, okay? That's just not that's just not fair. Rush is based. Ragavan noted unplayable modern Magic the Gathering card. Get just take the Ragavans and get them the fuck out of your deck. Is this the most embarrassing that Ragnaban has ever looked? It's pretty bad, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Modern Horizons 2, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, wait, can I have killed them? No, I don't have the other combo piece, right? <laughs> Nickel and Dime says, How the hell do I beat Mill? I need the tech now. Uh, sideboard up to 69 cards every single time. That'll show them. Oh, you're playing 69 main board. Well, I hadn't thought about that. If that's the case, then you got me. I don't know what to say to that. That's lethal, right? I believe that is lethal. Um, here, here. Sack this. Eh, I should have sacked the army token. It doesn't matter, but said Cool. <laughs> that was fun. All right, good game. Playing against Boros Obosh. I want to look at their list, because this is the list that Mengu 5 would with, right? Lost the finals in one of the challenges. Let me look up the list. I want to see what they have in their, in their deck. All right, so their deck list. Ragavan, Flage, Pyromancer, Solid Dude, Timeless Dragon, Blood Moon, Fable, Removal. Noted. Uh, Wait, I didn't see what their sideboard, their graveyard hate was. The graveyard hate is Stone of Edich. Stone of Edich. What the fuck do I even cut? I could trim like a Bloodgast, a Grist, and an Honor Earth and just play three Pick Your Poisons? Sure. The sand looks phenomenal. Keep this. What's up, Quigon? Rush is really good. I believe it's pronounced YYZ. Uh, not true at all, as a matter of fact. I do not believe you. They binned a stone of your itch. It itch. I should have got a basic. I didn't think about them blood mooning me. 
guess we have this if they moon us. Anyone else play Rock Band a lot? No, not me. This thing has a lot of dust on it there. It's been a while since I played. Definitely not me. When are we going to get a clone hero stream? Rare Doomweight clone hero stream? We did a couple of those like last year, I think. Maybe it was the year before. We've done some we've done some clone hero streams. Am I the only hard, am I the only one that has a really hard time playing magic when it's dead silent? Um Yeah, I mean I guess like when you're playing live, you kind of get that you kind of get that experience. You just get like people people talking or whatever. So maybe I just don't notice it as much. But I kind of kind of agree with that. To an extent. Only one insect. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, not too loud. But I agree. Like when I'm sitting here playing off stream, I got I gotta listen to Spotify. Gotta have something. It's not just like it's not just me, you know, sitting here and just like like, I don't play magic like this, you know? Flage! <laughs> Why is Rush so goddamn good? Uh, okay. So... Plus... YYZ? Let's go. All right, I would like to rebuy Grist. Sack the wrong token, but not a big deal. I will destroy this, and I guess I play the token. No, that's kind of bad, because now they're going to flage this Grist, and I'm not going to be able to kill the flage. This flage is actually kind of a problem here. A little bit of an issue. I guess it doesn't matter because we can just rebuy the Grist with Nightmare. So we kind of have everything everything covered, right? How long do you think we're going to listen to Rush for? Yeah, Ni Nightmare Bad Grist is kind of sick. What do you got for me? Season Pyromancer. Not long enough? Yeah. Okay, that does get them to Flage next turn. Any Flagers? Anybody up uh, Flaging the Fury? Why can't I get back Insidious Roots with this? It's kind of upsetting. Uh, Alright, let's go... Wait, this doesn't work the way that I want it to, right? Oh, no, it does. Yeah, I'm dumb. Alright, play this. Play this. Get back. Chris, sec this. Plus. I don't really know how we're supposed to ever lose this game... I'm sure we can find a way, but it seems pretty difficult, right? Maybe if they have some kind of sweeper. Wrath of the Skies. Well, they can't have Wrath because they're an old Bosch tech, right? Yeah, they're just they're off it. They said GG's. They do not want to play anymore. That was kind of sick, huh? GG's, banana. Deck did not seem to be kind to you that game. The Meat Man. Meat Man, huh? What kind of meat? All right, I keep. They said it couldn't be done. The scriptures were true. It was written in stone. This matchup seems uh, difficult, to say the least. I would I would I would say this matchup is uh not ideal. New sale by the way. One one gifted sub equals one emote added. Limited time offer. How do I win? I hadn't thought about that. We have to find the uh the other card. What's the other card? You know the card that I'm thinking of. The card with the name that does the thing. 
just gonna play Blood Guest, I guess. I don't even fucking know. Yeah, we have to combo with him. So we probably have to cast Soul Trader next turn. Maybe I'm supposed to just cast Nightmare. I'm like 99% sure I would get banned. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I looking at, you know? Combo them for the Eta Cauldron. Yeah, that's true. We definitely can't beat a Cauldron. Unless we get two Grave Crawlers in rotation, then maybe we can. They have their own Grist. Wind Swept Teeth. Alright, so my plan is Grist mill over Marionette Apprentice. And if we mill exactly Apprentice, we can kill them next turn, I think. That's not cl not quite. Chat does not use people vanish as often as they should. It's a goaded emote. You don't have a cutthroat or a blood artist? No, we have marionette apprentice instead. Which is effectively the same thing. For all intents and purposes, it is basically the same thing. Although I guess it's a bit worse here because we are on a lower life total. Do I have to chump block to preserve life total so I can actually kill them with it? Yeah, it's different in this situation, because we're too far behind. We still have enough life to kill them, I think, if we draw it. Did not draw it, though. Uh, Alright, we're dead. Because we're going to be too far behind on life next turn, even if we do draw it. So... This card's probably good against Yogg, right? It either gets their Yogg or their Grist, most of the time. Pip is bad, Might's... Eh, might could be good to answer Cauldron. Probably should bring in Might for Cauldron. Let's just do some shaving, like we did the last time. Shave, shave. Could even cut two of these. Shave. I think Roots is probably not a good plan against them. Because, like, the issue with Roots is they can kind of just... They're a better value deck than we are, so I think the only way that we can win is if we set up the... Like, do a fast combo, which does not involve Roots. Yeah, that's true. We can we can always utter the Haywire Might, which is pretty good. Yeah, we've officially become a rush stream. Which I'm not that unhappy with. Uh no. Is raw stats better than their value plan though? Hmm, I don't think so. So I actually think I'm bottoming Grist. I think Grist is not where you want to be with this hand. We just want to go Supplier, Mill over Gravecrawler and try to set up the combo. I mean, maybe, I guess. Shieldred Emote. What is the Shieldred Emote? I told you, one one gifted sub for an emote. That's the, that's the going raid. Limited time offer. That's a steal. Hmm. We could turn two Soul Trader. It's that bad. It's probably not bad, right? The other option is Nightmare, get back one of these two. I guess Nightmare, get back Bowmaster sets us up better for Soul Trader the next turn. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Because then we have more bodies in play for more mana off Soul Trader. Yeah, that was the plan. I'm going to get the Bowmasters back. Question is, do we flare the halfling, sack the bowmasters? We did mill the grave crawler. I think we hold. Because I don't really care if they play Grist next turn, do I? That is true. We don't have the marionette yet. We can maybe find it off of Nightmare. Because I think I have enough mana to. Yeah, we'll see. I might have enough mana to, like, Soul Trader. That's what I did not want to happen. That is the worst case scenario. Well, not much I can do about that. I guess we can bait the activation with Nightmare on Haywire Might? Huh. I'm trying to think of how much I can do this turn. I can go Nightmare, Sec, Army Token, Target Might. They have to use the Cauldron. Let me play Soul Trader first. Oh, because I just have no mana left over. Hmm. Blooming Marsh, Soul Trader, sack these two, Nightmare. No, because then I have to sack the Soul Trader, and that's bad. 
There's really no good way to do this, is there? No, there is not. Surely there's something good I can do this turn, right? Yeah, I can Nightmare twice, but then I have to sack the Bowmasters. Like, I go two mana, Nightmare, sack token, target might, they exile. Then I can go to tower, sack this, play Nightmare, but I have no creatures left. So I don't. I can I can cast this twice, but I have nothing to sack to it the second time. I'm just like sitting here staring at the wall, trying to see if I can find something. Go for a supplier first. Still kind of in the same spot though, because I don't have. I can't cast the nightmare twice without sacking both of these. So if I target supplier first, even if they fall for the bait, I don't have the body to get the might back. I think I just cast. I, honestly, I think I just do this. So they probably eat the Gravecrawler in response. Uh, sure. Okay. So that sucks, but it's at least something going on. I can't play the Gravecrawler because I didn't have a zombie in play. We just need to draw Pick Your Poison. Do we board those in? No, we did not. We have to draw the other Haywire Might, I guess. Goblin is zombie. Correct, but they just eat the Gravecrawler in response. I, I don't have a priority window to cast it after they eat the Grave... You know what I mean? How could I cast the Gravecrawler there? I cast this, they just exile in response, which is exactly what happened. Um, Yeah, I guess what I could have done was sack, sack, play Nightmare, sack, Soul Trader, get back Grist, but I wouldn't have a treasure left over to flip it, so it doesn't really accomplish that much. Right? I was one man short of doing that. Treasure, treasure, play, sack this, get back this, but I can't flip it. If I had one more mana, I could then flip the Grist and pop the, the Cauldron. I guess this turn I can do that, where I can do the same thing, where I go Nightmare, sack this, target Might, they have to activate, and then I can go uh, land, sack this... Nightmare with green up, sack this, get grist, flip, kill this. But then I have nothing left. <laughs> so I would end up having nothing left in play. So, I mean, I, I guess that works. If you're cool with having no permanence in play. I mean, you do what you gotta do, right? It's better than dying to the cauldron. Oh, that is a good point. Yeah, because they just put the might under this. And then they can kill the, the Nightmare. So, all right, how about this? How about, how do we do this? Cast this. They know. You weren't supposed to know about this. They were not supposed to know about this. Damn it. There's nothing I can do, right? Alright. This cauldron is just soloing us, dude. Actually just soloing us. Zero chance of get zero, zero chance of ever beating a cauldron. Oh sure. Sure. Yeah. I'm good. We're just we're just not gonna beat a cauldron. I'm good. It's felt okay so far. There's definitely something here. We haven't cast Roots yet, though. Uh, this hand, on the other hand, is a little suspicious. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe I should have kept in more Roots. Um, This hand's not a keep, right? I guess we can cycle on Earth. I'll try it. I don't know. <laughs> Too poor for Amazon not who took all my money. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot cannot spend money on Amazon Prime. Nadu, Nadu has Nadu has sucked away all my resources. We can also get a surveil land. Surveil me. Only I can unearth insidious roots. Yeah, the hand's a lot worse now. I'll tell you that much. If the hand was suspicious, it's even more suspicious now. Well, bo 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 bo. I'll take another Roots. Not exactly. Not a terrible draw. Well, no, it's it's pretty bad. It doesn't do anything. Okay, I guess I cast mine now. Pew, 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 pew. 
archery. And here we have a lovely display of archering. Bow on bow action. You have another one? Yeah, I'll take. I kind of want to play the Soul Trader pre-combat. Because if they if they Bowmaster in combat, I can sacrifice my Bowmaster to kind of brick the target. Pew, 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 pew. Hmm. Well then, that is uh, that is a draw. So, maybe I should attack first. See what they have. I kind of think they might have Flare of Malice. So I kind of just want to attack first and see what they're working with. And then we'll uh, we'll reassess the situation in the post combat main phase. Now we get a pusher. Okay, that's fine. D file. So we go one here. Um, sack for two black. Nightmare sack token. Get back wrist plus. I think that's the best way to do it. Could have also just done this with Unearth. But this way gives me a little bit more energy for next turn. Not that I need the energy. Do you get Soul Trader? Yeah, but I think I'd rather just have the Grist now. I can Unearth the Soul Trader next turn if I wanted to. I could even go like, Unearth Soul Trader, sack this. Bro, stop. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Alright, fine. Well, I'll do it again next turn. As a matter of fact... Vinny Fino, thank you for the 32-year resub. Greatly appreciate that. It's a long-ass time. Thank you very, very much for the resub, Vinny. I guess I could have unearthed the Soul Trader that turn with the spare mana. Probably would have been fine. I guess I'm, I'm going to do both now, I guess. All right, so black, unearth. We'll do the Grist first. But I probably should have done the Soul Trader last turn. I will flip this Gris, whether you like it or not. Oh, I'm flipping. Uh, we milled a Grave Crawler, so that is pretty good. So now we do this. They're not dead because we don't have the Marionette, dude. Orcish Bowmasters. What are they targeting? Yeah, no, I'll never forget the Vinny interview. It's a moment that will live in infamy. Okay, so with two black, um, what can we? What else can we do here? Not really a ton, right? Oh, that's true. I guess we can nightmare the bowmasters, huh? It's a little suspicious that their last card's another removal spell. But now we can go cast grave crawler. We cycle Bowmasters. I don't think we have enough life to do that because you have to pay a life for each iteration. But I can and will do this to kill their Bowmasters. Then I think we just chill here. I guess I should probably put the Gravecrawler into play and then pass on that. I think this is probably sufficient. And we have a lot of stuff to do next turn. Yeah, Chithonian Nightmare is a Nightmare is a hell of a card. Especially in these low curve decks where you don't really need like so it's obviously good at looping grief, which is kind of the, the first version that we played, and then a version that I think Gaster played as well. And it is it is very good with grief, but it's kind of cool in these shells because you, you like you have the extra energy, or you don't need to like you don't need extra energy to keep going with grief and stuff like that. But I've been I've been very, very impressed with Nightmare. Alright, so scam, huh? What kind of graveyard hate do you think your opponent has brought to the table? Do you think they're a Leyland gamer or a Dothy Voidwalker gamer? Probably a Leyland gamer, right? My read is Leyline. So I'm gonna I'm gonna board as if they have Leyline. And not bring in Flare of Malice, because 
Like, I really don't want to bring this card in. I could bring in the Legion's End. Uh, the Legion's End is kind of a nice hedge, where it, it it kills Voidwalker, but it also just kills random other stuff, too. All right, so we're going to do these five. I'm going to trim, like, two Blood Ghast. I'm going to shave on some of the Graveyard stuff. I don't mind shaving a Nightmare in this matchup, especially if they're really heavy on Graveyard hate. Try something like that. Uh, I mean, this hand is playable cards and an answer to ley lines, so definitely going to keep it. What if you're low on life but have Nightmare Bowmaster Soul Trader? So you deal them two damage for every one life. So whatever the math works out to that. Whatever the math is on with that regard. You should pay one life and then every loop you deal them one with the treasure and one with the grave crawler. But sure, blood blood artists would make the math a lot easier. Sign and blood. <laughs> Surely they have another sign and blood name, right? What if they did? Yeah, it's kind of rude. I mean, I'm just going to attack them with my creatures. They can't block with Dothi. Bowmaster. Uh, combat. We can also eventually answer the Dothi with Grist. Which, obviously, we don't have Grist now, but... If we can eventually find Grist, we can kill the Dothi. Four Ast. We're going wide, Joel. Chat, wide, Joel, okay? Wide, Joel. The widest Joel you've ever seen. I repeat, we wide now. Oh, we wide. Deluge X equals one. Why do you have to put that that hate upon me? That that pure hatred. They can cast my Haywire, I might. I'll allow it. Yeah, Void Blocker, I don't know. It maybe makes a little bit more sense with their not dead stuff. Right. Just I'm just gonna attack you. With my with my individuals. Sus. Well, now we have no pressure. So that's unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. It's seven. We are now losing the race. The race is now officially being lost. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, the Flare of Malice is not even that good, because if they Grief Scam into Dothi, they just sack the Grief. Or they just take your Flare of Malice. So maybe we should bring in just Legion's End. Kind of wish we had fatal pushes, but we don't. You aren't losing the race yet. Uh, would you like to change your mind? How about now? All right. Game three. Game tree. Yeah, I think I'm not going to bring in the flares. And just hope that we can fight through the Dothies with just Grist and Legion's End. How does Roots interact with Dothie? It doesn't, right? Because Dothie is a replacement effect. So I don't think it works the way that I want it to. Confirm or deny chat? Yeah, it just never hits the graveyard. You would cut all the Roots. They are pretty bad against Dothie. And just, like, keep the bodies. Like this stuff. Yeah, I could buy that. I'll try that. Just to have more stuff on the battlefield. Uh... I mean, this hand looks pretty good. We, we have an answer to a Ley Line and a Dothi. Uh, the problem is we're not going to have a hand on turn two. So, you know. Now, we talked about this. The problem with Flare is if they scam first, they can either A, take your Flare, or B, just sack the Grief to the, the Flare. So I, I don't think it's a good lineup. But I guess it's good if they don't have Grief. Let's do this first, actually. Yeah, the Surveillance just did every opening hand. Ooh. Those are nice mills, aren't they? I would say those are good mills. Slightly above average. All right, turn two, five power. Your turn. This is just advanced rhinos. 
Oh my god, I really hope your I, I really hope your hand is three Dothy Voidwalkers. Come on, one time. One time. Show me those Voidwalkers. Damn it. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Consuming corruption. Sorin the Girthless has been called. Noted. Noted Sorin the Girthless Enjoyer. Yeah, Soren jump scare, folks. The hell are you doing there, buddy? Yeah, they probably don't live that long. I agree. They don't really care about us. They take grist. Makes sense. Good east. My brother in grist. Let's go to combat first. <laughs> that is true. Now we can nightmare grist. Hmm. This might have been a bad idea, because now we're going to lose our zombies. I guess it doesn't matter, because we have the supplier in hand. So... So Ashiok is kind of fucking scary, if I'm being honest. We probably have to get the Grist in play before the Ashiok, right? But then we lose the Bloodgast. It's really rough. I mean, I guess we can refill the graveyard with supplier... So it's maybe not the end of the world. Because the Gris can at least take care of the Ashiok after they minus it. So it's something. But them having Voidwalker and Ashiok is kind of kind of cringe. I think less Gris, more scam cards. Well, we're not playing Grief. Maybe there's a version of this deck that does want Grief. Which was, I think the, the, the model black version we played had Grief. And that is maybe a different way you could build it. No, we definitely trade here. So they cast Ashiok minus... They, ha they have to cast Ashiok, right? Maybe they can kill the Grist first? Is that what they're thinking? Yeah, they're going to kill the Grist. Okay. Well, that doesn't even... That doesn't even beat me drawing a land, right? I just go Supplier, Nightmare, get the Grist back. So it's like this play just loses to a land. Well, not loses, but it's like, what's the point if I draw a land? Which I did. So we get back the ghast. Um, hear me out. What if we didn't grist and we just went supplier double grave crawler? What do you think about that? The other alternative is nightmare, sack blood ghast, get grist, crack fetch, get back blood ghast, play haywire mites. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Go here, plus crack fetch, get tomb, get back blood guest, play haywire mite. I'm gonna save the, the I'm gonna save the stitcher supplier because they're just gonna ashiok me next turn anyways. So I kind of want to save the supplier to like refill the graveyard after they ashiok me. This is pretty good. I mean, we're going to lose two Grave Crawlers, but we kind of have everything else. Bye, Graveyard. We'll see you next time. 07's for the Graveyard. Mm -mm. So, how shall we proceed? I think we start here. It's pretty fucking good. Probably get back supply. Probably sack supplier. They could have drawn a fatal push, I guess, to push the grist or a march. Kind of okay if it's march, though. We know one of their last cards is consuming corruption. Uh. So how about this? How about we go to combat first and just attack the Ashiok and see if they have a removal spell? I mean, if they had a removal spell, they would have killed the Grist, right? All right, they said GG's. Cool. All right, two and one. Let's keep it going. Uh, no. Ooh, Soul Trader with Guided Souls is kind of nice. 
because you get to gain the life back each time. So I think that would make infinite energy, right? Because you're paying a life, gaining a life, but you're still up in energy each loop. So I think it would be infinite energy. Right, yeah, if you're playing Abzan, you'd want to play Recruiter. We can try to cook that up a little bit. We can try to cook that up after. I do need a third land with the sand, so I'll top that. Time is it? All right. We're chilling. We're being chilling. Is there a zombie tutor? Um, I know they printed Goblin Ringleader in a recent standard, like a, not recent, but in one of the core sets. Did they put Grave Defiler in that set too, or no? Because you could play Grave Defiler. If it's legal, of course. Is this Living End? It's probably Living End. Demonic Tutor. Bro, we're not we're not playing fake formats over here. Living End confirmed. Could be Nadu. Yeah, I guess the Nadu decks do have one endurance, huh? Could be Nadu. Green, green. Alright, Nadu confirmed. I think I'm gonna kill the wall of roots. Just so they have less stuff in play if they do find the if they do have the Nadu. But I'm probably dying next turn. $30 uncommon, by the way. I can destroy the Shuko. Uh, no, we can't. It's only creature or planeswalker. That's the other Grist. Not quite. If we could, we probably would have. The gifted SUV. Wait, you got gifted an SUV from Hot Girls? Hot Girls is a secret oiler. Apparently, they're just they're just they're just handing out Rav fours. Okay, they're doing the land, which is good. But now what? Uh, mill second grist, maybe. Any grists? Maybe I should have saved the minus for Nadu. The nightmare loop supplier, and like pretend we're not like pretend we could pretend like we're not dead next turn, but we definitely are. Uh, I mean, go. Maybe I'll get a turn. Maybe I'll get one turn. As a matter of fact, we will not get one more turn. All right, $30 uncommon. Coming in hot. Flare of Malice. Get in my deck, please. Um, I don't love Pip. Could Haywire Might for Shuko? Maybe that's worth it. Could also consider Thoughtseize or Legion's End. This might not be a Roots matchup. Like, we don't really have time to value them with Roots. We kind of just need to get them dead with the Soul Trader combo. So I think we should focus less on Roots. Trim one of these, play two Haywire Mites. I'll try that. I play first. Have I beaten Nadu a single time today? I'm not sure that I have. Yeah, the sand at least has two lands. Does not have a lot else, though. This mortuary is just glued to my opening hand. No, I said I don't want that. I said no. 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 Yeah, Bobble got pretty high. But it was before it was reprinted. And then as soon as they reprinted it, it tanked. I mean... Wait, I can just do this, right? Yeah, just do this. Kill the Shuko. They have Endurance. I mean, if they're tanking, they have Endurance, right? They should cast it. Endurance results. I cast a 2-1 creature, and I pass. PT's in, what, two weeks, I think? They always have the Endurance. They never don't have it. Wait, how is that possible? Oh, I fetched. Right, okay. Of course, because that's the bug, right? Whenever you fetch, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Bro, I like I had two of these in my opening hand. I bottomed one. 
then got one endurance, fetched that turn, and then immediately drew the other Grist. Like, come on, dude, what is this? I mean, it literally is a bug. Like, if you just look at the card, you can tell it's a bug, right? Just cast Nadu so I can move on with my life. I know you have it. There's only one way to test that theory, though. All right, well, you're too late. I get back wrist. Uh, Wait, which one? I have to keep this one, right? I guess it doesn't matter. They both trigger. So now I'm in a position where even if I kill this Shuko... Oh. <laughs> okay, well, it turns out I clicked on the wrong one. Whatever, you win, dude. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I clicked on the wrong one. Gigantha the Wellspring. I keep it. I accept this hand that you have been dealt me. This hand that you have dealt me. How's the Eldrazi deck? I've been liking it a lot. We've we've played it a lot on the channel. I've been uh, I've been a pretty big fan of it. What's the word? A word up. Chat, you're not vibing enough. I need we need more vibes. The vibes have to flow, okay? Well, I can't tell that you're vibing, okay? I need to I need visual evidence that you are in fact officially vibing. Stomping ground. Alright. We have a Jund gamer spotted. I saw that Sauce was playing. Sauce was playing Jun Saga splashing for Nadu. It seemed like a deck. It definitely, it definitely was a deck. Just put that shit in everything. Yeah, it's just Oko Burn, you know. I think it did go 5 0. I don't know if he specifically went 5 0, but I think somebody might have played his the same list that he played and then 5 0'd with it. I mean, at this point, what can't we put Nadu in? We can just put it in anything, right? Powerful turn three play. I pay three mana, and I pick up my Gigantha. It's honestly the best turn three play in modern. Uh, all right, let's go to combat. Combat step. There's some places I wouldn't put Nadu in. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you trying to say? Why is everything you say in chat just extremely sus? I have a Bowmaster or a Supplier, neither of which I really want. I kind of wanted this, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to save the Unearth and go beat downs. I can do that next turn. I kind of just want to use my mana here and just, just put 7 power into play when they're at 13. We can take one more hit from the Nether Grave before we have to start Chump Bleat, and then we can take two hits from it before we have to start blocking. I'm not worried about a little Goyf. Goyf does not concern me. Molten collapse my one one token. All right, I accept. That is that is a, that is an, a universe that I can that I can accept. Well, we can block with our other shit. These creatures can block in paper. They probably have another removal spell here. Um, so let's go mortuary first. It's a pretty good one to do to put in the graveyard. So do this. I guess this is bad if they have a removal spell. Which is like the thing that I kind of wanted to try to play around. Because now I can't block the goif. I can sack it and cast the blood gas though. <laughs> Alright, so sack that. No, cast this. So, if they fetch Blade Gigantha, they can't attack next turn, because they have one blocker, block here, take six. We are dead to Bolt. I could have played around Bolt by just getting back Bowmasters. Maybe that was safer. That might have been a little safer. I could have, like, played played Bloodgast first, sack Bloodgast, cast the Unearth, play land, get back Bloodgast, and have two blockers. Uh, 21 lands, I think. Okay, so they can't attack. You have to draw a... Bloodgast? It's probably not going to do it. It's a blocker, I guess. So, if I send everything... 
they block the blood gas. I guess I should have attacked first. I mean, I'm still attacking, right? Because they block the blood ghasts. And then any lane would still kill them. We are dead to a removal spell. Should your zombie deck play tower? Yeah, probably at least two. Phyrexian tower is extremely good. Especially with Gravecrawler. You have so many things you want to sacrifice. It's a very, very good card. <clears throat> Hold... Hold. Give me a lane, please. I would like just just a land. That's I'm it's not I'm not asking for a lot. Just give me a land. One land. Por favor. I guess land is not lethal because they have four blockers. Okay, I take that back. I don't want to land. I don't know what I do want. Soul trader, maybe. Uh, I believe we have deceased. Yes, we have in fact deceased. Okay. So, what are you playing against? Jund Saga. What should we want against Jund Saga? Layers kind of sus. Pick your poison's good. Like, the artifact enchantment stuff is good. No Thoughtseize, no Legion's End. And... I kind of just want to trim on some of the graveyard stuff. Because I think they're going to be heavy on graveyard hate. Even see cutting two blood ghasts, one grist. Not the necro turn two tower deck. Um. Oh yeah, well that was the the mono black scam deck that we played. Had necro plus tower. You can go like turn two grief, sacrifice it to tower, and then cast turn two necro. I want to experiment a little bit more with necro because there have been some lists popping up. I'm gonna keep this and just try a uh, colored source. There have been some lists popping up recently that have had, um, where it's like they're playing a lot more pitch cards, and they're playing Soul Spike, Sickening Shoal, and March of Wretched Sorrow. So just, you know, four Necro, 12 pitch cards, less lands. And I think that that might be a little bit better than the, the Model Black version we played. I know, if we just hit the Gravecrawler last turn, it would have been fine. Okay. So now we go Roots. Any Roots enjoyers? Yeah, Necro very good, but Shield Red. Spell for Grist. Grist down. We'll see you next time, buddy. 07's for Grist. Booble. I don't know why I did that. Ooh. One mana stone rain, huh? I like that. You want to sacrifice that spell bomb? Mishra's Research Desk. We have a desk enjoyer. Alright, so how about this? Force the spell bomb, get a token off this, pop the saga. Because I want to force the spell bomb before they can draw a card. Yep, 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 yep. I know, I know. You sacrifice an enchantment. All right, your turn. Then we can go supplier next turn, hopefully hit a grave crawler. Oh, I didn't turn the music back down. You forgot to tell me that. Now, nah, Paradise Mantle is zero to play, but one to equip, so not quite as good with Nadu. The only other zero equip is uh, Lightning Greaves. No, I wanted that. All right, give me a nightmare. Nightmare me. I'm gonna hold on to that, I guess. <laughs> There's grafted war gear. Yeah, but I mean, okay, I should specify. There, Shuko is the only playable equip zero. Mantle's too expensive. It's a good card, but it's too expensive, I think. One mana, five, six. How do you expect me to beat a one mana, five, six? What do you think this is? I mean, is? Is Mantle actually equipped zero? I don't think it is, right? Do you have to pay mana to untap it or something? I don't remember. What are the ones Cheerios used to play? None of those equip for zero. A quarter shield, bone saw. Uh, what's the other one? Quarter shield, bone saw, something. 
Kite Sail? No, Kite Sail's two mana. I don't know what the other one is. It's a black equipment that you could pay three life or discard a card, though. Uh, Nightmare Lash? Is that that one? Didn't they make a new version of Nightmare Lash in in um, the second Mirrodin block? I'll keep that. Yeah, Cathar Shield is the other one. Spider Silk Net, that was the other one, too. So, I think what I want to do is this. Okay, we get a mana. Or we get energy, rather. So we go here. We have to mill something off the supplier. But we do get more blockers. This is where Roots just goes absolutely bananas. Okay, we milled a Haywire Might. So now we can go... Sack Supplier here? Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to sack supplier or just use. Well, I need to leave the green up, right? Because I want to. I want to mite the saga. So yeah, let's just sack supplier. We milled marionette apprentice. Okay. So now we get back marionette apprentice to have a second body. I think. So we go here, Apprentice, make a servo, and this gives us two more bodies. We play New Tower. Um, What if I just let them have Saga? There should be, yeah, it might not be working, though. In the queue, <laughs> Daily Radita. I was going to say, you requested that yesterday, didn't you? I think I'm going to pop the Saga. i do that. So we go rebuy, might, sack, plant, trigger there, get that back, trigger there, make a thing, pop saga. All right, I feel like maybe there was some more stuff that I could have done this turn, but I kind of wanted to kill the saga. Unfortunate they have an inti though, because that gives the nethergrave trample. Oh, but they have sixth. <laughs> Whoops. Well, actually, they don't have an NT. As it turns out, I think I'm just going to take five, though, because I want to keep bodies in play. I might just be able to kill them next turn. NT. I mean, NT is pretty good if you have more goifs. I was thinking about playing a deck that has, like, four Nether Goyf, four Tarmogoyf, and then two to three NT. Because that, you know, does give you more stuff, more big guys to give Trample. Ba -da 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 -da. Mm. All right, two mana. Nightmare. I guess they could have Besaju. Oh, they don't have Besaju, right? No, okay. So now we get back Supplier, Sack Token... If we can find Soul Trader, I think they're dead. I guess if they had Besager, they would have killed the Roots a long time ago. We did find the Soul Trader. Should be lethal, right? Oh no, we don't have the Gravecrawler yet. So we go Soul Trader, Sack Supplier. Damn, this deck goes deep, huh? Okay, I'm pretty impressed with Roots after this game. This I think this is the first time that we've casted all League. But it's pretty good, this game. Uh, Still no Gravecrawler, but they're off it. And we'll play it as Jet Medallion with Nightmare Broken. How many other things are you discounting besides Nightmare, though? I guess you can discount Apprentice, Bowmaster, Soul Trader. It's got to be close, right? They're probably not that far off. But the problem is, Jet Medallion is not a card that synergizes with any of the Unearth stuff. Because you can't rebuy it, it's not a creature you can sack. So it's... It is... It's it's kind of a weird one, right? It's like... It just doesn't synergize with any of your graveyard stuff. So it's... It's kind of awkward. But it is powerful, for sure. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, I don't know, though. I feel like if, if you're going to play Jet Medallion, you kind of have to build your whole deck around it. And I'm, I don't know if it's possible, but it could be, because it is powerful with Nightmare. Like, really good with Nightmare. Uh, 
All right, we have a Ragavan Enjoyer. Please don't hit my Surveil Land, please. Hit anything in my deck that's not Surveil Land. All right, Bowmasters. Can't guess that. Maybe you're that. Hmm. I'll be good at some point. Is it correct to fetch the Surveil Land there? Well, no, because if there's a good two drop I want on top, like a Nightmare or something, I I want to top those cards. And there's not really many. Like, do I? How much do I care about them hitting any of my one drops? Like, if they hit Grave Crawler, don't really care. If they hit Supplier, don't really care. So I think I'm okay with them hitting any of my one mana cards. I guess Pick Your Poison is the one exception, because they could... Well, no, I didn't have the Roots in play at that point. So yeah, I think it's fine. Primal Prayers lets you cast Crawler from Graveyard for energy. I thought Primal Prayers was only from your hand, no? Is it from anywhere, really? Primal Prayers. You may cast creature spells with mana value 3 or less by paying E rather than paying their mana costs. Uh, are you sure that works with Gravecrawler? You may cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. I guess that does work, right? I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. Not a big fan. All right, we got a song request from Kuzin in the queue. Uh, well, I was going to cast Grist, but now I think we just Bowmasters. Yeah, now we just Bowmasters. No, I'm saving Pick Your Poison for their Saga. Or their Channeler if they get Delirium, which they will, right? I don't think I've heard this song, now. Should main phase it on the DRC? No, because I want them to attack with the Ragavan, right? If I main phase it on DRC, they just don't attack with Ragavan. I mean, this is greedy. <laughs> it's definitely not not greedy. They don't have a spell to cast. Surely they don't have a spell to cast. See, I told you, you just gotta believe, you know? You just have to believe that your opponent does not have a spell. Easy. Easiest block of my life. This Orcish Bowmasters card seems pretty good. Why don't more people play it? Binte. Binte. It's kind of annoying that they can, you know, do this. I don't really have a good double block. Oh, wait, why did I not kill their saga? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I not kill their saga? I couldn't tell you. I I was supposed to. I just kind of forgot. Okay, that was a bad play. That was, uh... That's hmm. what happens when you get five and a half hours into the stream, I guess. I'm saving it for the next game. I'm having mercy on them, okay? The best part is they know that I have the bigger poison. I'm just saving it for saving it for a rainy day. I just wanted to get a uh, overgrown tomb and not a, and not a swamp. All right. Kuzin song request. What you got? Oh, they're not even making a token. Maybe I did hear this song. I don't remember. All right. You sacrifice an enchantment. Please and thank you. Asking nicely. Did not order this properly, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, they're off it. They are off it. Perfectly calculated. Pick your poison, by the way. All right, everybody. That is going to close out the league for Nightmare Roots. Uh, unfortunately, throughout that league, we didn't really get to showcase the power of Roots too, too much. It became up once or twice. But what I do really, what I really learned about this league and, and playing a lot of these Warren Soul Trader plus Gravecrawler decks is this combo is really powerful. The, the combination of Soul Trader, Marionette Apprentice, and Gravecrawler, 
The fact that your combo piece also happens to be a zombie obviously works very, very well with Gravecrawler. Um, and one other thing that I noticed is the more and more that I play with Spy Master's Vault, the more I am just overwhelmed by how, like, I, I'm just, I cannot believe how good this card is, especially in combination with Soul Trader. You can kind of set up these, these chains where you can just go, even if you don't have the full combo, you can, if you have Soul Trader Gravecrawler, you can basically just pay one life to connive an extra time, sack the crawler, replay it, so on and so forth. Do that like, you know, 10 or so times, connive 10, maybe that finds you the marionette apprentice. Um, the other cool thing that I, I learned a lot with this deck is how well the interactions of between Unearth and Grist Voracious Larva, because Grist triggers off of itself. If you unearth it, you can pay the green, flip it immediately. Um, it also works very well with the Grave Crawlers and Blood Guests. So yeah, there, there's definitely a lot to like about this. I kind of want to explore a shell that maybe has the Soul Trader Apprentice Grave Crawler combo kind of sort of combining that with birthing roots because birthing roots is a way for you to search for the combo it you know pays you off for sacrificing creatures which this deck wants to do anyways so that might be the next evolution of this deck but i give it a thumbs up i enjoyed the video and i hope you did as well be sure to let me know what you thought down below like the video subscribe and i will see you all in the next one